This is the Blink Mini 2 mini camera, day and night, uh, HD, 1080p, weather resistant, two-way audio, smart notifications, and an LED spotlight. So it's pretty much standard stuff here. We're going to see what this looks like, unbox this, get this hooked up, and see what I can do here with the Blink Mini 2 camera. I did receive this from Best Buy free of charge for my honest review of this product. Oh, let's see. Right over there. Goes in like so. Fits like a glove. I am going to download the app and the device. See what goes on. I don't know if I have any blink cameras previously. Um, this looks like an Amazon thing, so. Blink Mini 2. Blink Mini 2. Here we go. Getting started, download the Blink Mini Monitor app, create an account, add device, add your cameras to your system. Looks good, so we'll see what we get here. Okay, I installed the iOS app, and here I'm going to run the Blink app. Set up the mini camera. Enter the QR code from the back of the Blink camera. And then, boom. Create a new system. I'll name my system here. Skipped over that. Discover device. And then join the Wi-Fi network of the device. Those lights up top are what are, are on the front of the camera. Um, allow Blink to find devices on your network. Okay, firmware updates done. Mini 2 camera added to the Bappy Blink Mini 2 system. And then you'll get the free trial here. Uh, person detection, longer view, never miss a moment, all the clout benefits. And here we are connecting to the camera. There I am. Okay, so first let me say that I'm recording this on the Blink camera. So um, I'm getting a little blinded with the LED, but I figured it would be fair for it to be on. No worse than during the eclipse without glasses, but that's not me. I didn't do that, but others did. So let's first set expectations for the hardware. The mic. Okay, I moved off of using the uh, video from the Blink Mini 2 camera, where I did a narrative and my final thoughts on the on the device, mainly because it was becoming difficult to edit that video. I don't know if it has something to do with the codec or the the bit rate, um, but the audio sync was was a problem. So so I stopped that. And I'll provide some other examples of the video um, that came out of that device. Overall, the device is pretty good. It's a, a small, small camera, 1080p. Does okay with uh, with video under uh, the right circumstances and the right conditions. Uh, night vision is is okay. It is um, it does have an LED in it that will shine some light on the subject. Um, at night to to make the video look a little bit better but it's it's it is highly compressed you know this is all transmitted wirelessly uh, it's uh, you know sent up to the cloud if you have the cloud subscription um, I'll mention more about that later but overall the device is pretty nice it's it, it's it's pretty much standard for for um, these type of security cameras um, so as for as for the subscription, the cloud subscription is three dollars a month. 
for, for this device. Um, it does provide some benefits, online storage, of course. Uh, also, some configuration items are not available if you don't have the cloud service. Um, there's things like um, person detection, which is not available if you don't have the cloud service. It's just generic motion detection. There also are some options also that are not configurable if you don't have the cloud service. So be aware of that. I'm not going to get I'm not going to get deep into those items, but there are a few things that um, that are provided that are, are re require the cloud service to have that option uh, configure in the camera. So that's a, a bit odd, but you know, again, with these devices, they have a low entry point, and like they do with printers, um, they lose money on the hardware and make money on the consumables and in this case consumables for a uh, for a camera is cloud service so um so pretty good I'll, again i'll provide some more video examples that i took with this camera overall i think it's a good value if you want a low entry point for basic cloud services this is a, a good choice it's a little bit cheaper than it's um, sister company under the Amazon umbrella, which is Ring, where their devices, uh, the, the device cloud subscriptions are a little bit more expensive. So if you're looking for a value cloud subscription, this Blink camera does a, has a good offering there and is an alternative to some of the other cameras that have a higher, um, higher price for cloud services. So uh, overall, not a bad camera. Of course, they want you to subscribe to their cloud services and do everything they can to push you in that direction. But uh, overall, good, good, uh, good device. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, and if you're really interested in subscribing, I do a mix of product reviews, travel videos, drone videos, a little bit of everything. So you never know what you're going to get on my channel. Um, but.